Welcome to the third video of the MVMED Unfolded series, a complete guide to the MVMED software. In the last video, we talked about materials and all of the parameters that define them. We also created a material we can now use in our model area. In this video, we will use different materials together to create walls. First, we need to start up the MVMED headquarter. Then we will go to the Data and Settings tab and click on Database Manager. Just like the previous video, we will then select our project from the drop-down list. In MVMED, there are two main types of walls. Single walls, like shading structures, and building walls. Single walls exist simply to provide shade or act as a windbreaker. They are freestanding walls made of only one material. We can create a single wall by clicking on the tab labeled Single Walls and then clicking the small button that looks like a small wall. Once we have created a new single wall within our project database, we can edit a variety of values. Next to the database ID, name and color, we can edit the material the single wall is made out of, as well as its roughness length and the wall thickness. For that, simply click on the three dots next to the parameters. Now that we have covered single walls, let's move on to wall and roof constructions. For that, click on the tab in the database manager labeled wall slash roof constructions. Here we can see a variety of wall classes in the system database, just like we had a variety of material classes before. Instead of using an existing wall, we will create a new one from scratch by first clicking on our project database folder and then again clicking the small wall button with a plus sign in front of. This action creates a new basic wall that we can then modify. We will change the database ID to 0100IW and name it Insulated Wall. The parameter Roughness Length refers to the roughness of the material and is defined by the height in meters above a surface that the average wind speed is zero. In order to actually design our new wall, we need to double click on our wall in our project database folder. This will bring up the Edit Wall window. From here we can define what materials our wall is made out of and define the thickness of each material within the wall. To place a material into our wall, we can simply find the material we want to use on the right side. We can then drag it into one of the three available slots that will make up our wall. For this, we will use our new insulation material in between some plaster and concrete. When applying materials to a wall, please keep in mind which part of the wall faces outside and which part faces inside. We will now define the thickness of each part of our wall within the three boxes near the top of the window which correspond to their respective materials below. We will make the plaster 1 cm thick, the insulation 12 cm thick and the concrete 18 cm thick. We then click OK. We have now created a 31 cm thick insulated wall. Be sure to save your database from time to time. NVMED currently supports up to three different materials within its wall structures. However, it is possible that you have information about a wall which consists of more than three materials. In order to reliably simulate walls consisting of more than three materials, we can average the parameter values of different materials into a single material. For example, if we have five different materials that we would like to make a wall out of, we will leave the outside and inside most wall materials alone and average the parameter values of the inner three materials. We do not average the outside most material with an inner material because the outside most material receives direct solar radiation and averaging data would affect the values of solar related parameters and thus distorts the results. The same counts for the inside climate values. We can use the average parameter values of different materials to create a single material we can use inside of our wall structure. First, we need to divide the thickness of each material by the total thickness of all the materials together. Then, we multiply that value by the specific heat value of our respective material. We then add the values of each equation from each material together to get our final average value. We can do these equations with all parameter values we wish to average. Now that we have created a wall, we need to understand how energy transfer information is calculated within MVMED with regards to wall and building structure. Energy transfer calculations in MVMED, in a basic sense, 
are the product of the interaction of seven different nodes throughout the three material wall structure. These nodes process data from their neighboring nodes with respect to the material they represent. The first, third, fifth and seventh nodes are boundary nodes, which are the interaction points between two materials or between a material and the outdoor or indoor environment. The second, fourth and sixth node are material nodes and calculate the energy that is being transmitted through the material into a boundary node. The interaction of energy within the wall in Envimat works both from outside to inside and vice versa. The Envimat multiple node model is completely dependent on the values we give our materials and walls. And thus, these values need to be as accurate as possible if we want to see actual usable results from our Envimat simulations. If you would like to know more about the database manager, please check out our Getting Started series here on YouTube. If you would like to know more about the calculations and physics that make up the Envimat software, check out our three-part expert lesson titled Building Physics. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one, where we will cover the next feature of the urban environment, soils.